Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here, of course, with Vanitarian and... Did you call me a vegetarian? Yeah. And today... Toxic friend. <laughs> pretty sure I called you Vanitarian, but... Today we are here for another episode of Menu's Best, episode number five. And today we're going all the way to... Yikes. Don't ever say that. When the, video with the interpretation of... Let me finish before you cut in the mega sound weird. <laughs> God damn. We're going all the way to the interpretation of Mexican food from an American company. <laughs> all the way to Mexico via California, probably. For Chipotle. So tell us what items we have here. So we have got... Actually, let me... Uh, Bro doesn't uh, remember. DoorDash, I use the exact names. Bro doesn't remember. We have got... Well, I mean, you could pull up the receipt. You have the receipt can on I, the bag. Can I pull up the receipt? On the bag, yeah. Is there a receipt on the bag? So we have... Is the, there a receipt on the bag? This is the bag. Is this not a receipt? That's a QR code. Oh, Sticker. Yes. There's no receipt. Yes. And, we should note, the lid of each one of these things has a faded sticker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> atrocious. Just, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but for the well, first... here you go. There you go. Faded sticker. So, this is just meal. And they all say DoorDash meal. <laughs> um, for the first one, we've got the Go Half Veggie Bowl, which has got half chicken, half sofritas, super greens, lettuce blend with tomatoes, onions, and roasted chili corn salsa. Chose to opt out of the sour cream because it fucks my stomach up. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of it. And the second thing we have here, I believe, is yours. This is the burrito bowl. The burrito bowl? I thought it was a little bit bigger on the... Oh, I wonder, maybe this is oh, the... No, it's, it's a circular. Is this the burrito bowl? No, this is the burrito bowl here. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Um, oh, this one's got guacamole. That's the burrito bowl. I have guacamole in the burrito bowl. Oh, yeah, because that has corn in it. So this is the burrito bowl. So it really did mess up my whole... This is the burrito bowl. This is the go half vegetable. And we've got the three tacos, and that has got the um, barbacoa, barbacoa, barbacoa um, meat in it, which I believe is sheep or goat. Um, and then lastly, we have the quesadilla. Um, and we got some rice and vegetables with it. And, and, and we bought some chips too, so we'll indulge in some chips and salsa throughout the. And is this just a tomato or is this a salsa? That's the tomato it's... salsa. Oh, okay, so it's cringe. All right, so Bro, that's the good kind of salsa. The fuck. So, real quick, I just want to make an observation. Oh wait, we got okay. Mexico Sprite and Mexico Coca Cola. Yep. Well, we should start with that. I was, yeah, so I want to make an observation. Um, are you sure these are twist off? Positive. Try it. Um. I don't think they are, dude. All right, make your observation. Yeah, so these these drinks, um, they said they're Mexican Coca-Cola and Mexican Sprite, which they are. They, they have Mexican Spanish. writing on it. Um, or it's Mexican writing. It's Spanish on it. Um, but that, that's not the observation I wanted to make. I wanted to make the observation on the bag that says the only ingredient on Chipotle or in Chipotle that's hard to pronounce is Chipotle. I had a little bit of trouble pronouncing barbacoa or whatever in the house, so I don't think that's correct advertising. Just saying. All right, let's see if these taste like Mexico. All right. Cheers to ad revenue. And the algorithm gods. Tastes like Sprite. I don't know, mine, mine has a little bit of Mexico taste. Does it? Is yeah. it different? Yeah. Try this. So you taste the difference. I yeah, that's definitely from Mexico. I can taste it. it tastes the same to me, dude. I, they I both know. taste the exact same. Maybe you're. Maybe I'm just him. Maybe my palate isn't racist like yours. You didn't. You didn't lose your taste when you had COVID back a couple nope. years ago. I thought you said you did. I no, I can't smell. <laughs> maybe my palate isn't racist. Maybe anymore. that's it. No, because no, I know scent no, has a lot no, to do. No, with... because listen, your palate racist. Mine, <laughs> not. 
Um, All right, let's start with this bowl. Yeah, yeah. It's got so, some yeah. cheese, so I'm gonna take this. So I don't like um, need to make twenty trips when I start recording to the bathroom. Let me grab a fork. These lovely plastic forks. Hmm. Does it taste like a burrito in a bowl? It does. I like the peppers. Right off the bat, this is a 10 looking at it. Um, You're not. Oh my god. Once again, toxic friend. Man, this is uh this is real good. Mm-hmm. Big fan of the chicken. Chicken's heat. Just a little bit more. That lettuce as well, the rice, beans, everything. Mm-hmm. Mm. I would say that I enjoyed this. Would you say that you enjoyed it? That's a 10 for me, dog. <laughs> I'll also put it to the side that we eat on is. Is that a 10 for me? Um, yeah, what do you think? I'll go with a 9 to start off. All right. This here is the go half go veggie. So this is the burrito bowl, but worse. I need some sour cream here. Got a bunch of. Fortunately, we managed to knock it. That a brontosaurus eats. Oh my god, racism! See, here's the thing that I'm confused on. So, that's the burrito bowl, but you picked the brown rice, right? For the, your bowl. Yeah, I did. I picked the white rice for the burrito bowl. I was just thinking that, yeah. And that's weird, because there's white rice on this side. No idea. Maybe it's just because of the beans that turn that brown? I don't think so. Because this, see, this is the brown rice. Not the white rice. That could definitely use sour cream. Definitely missing sour cream. Sour cream adds to it for me, but... I mean, I'll give it like a eight. Mm -hmm. Next we got a taco. I would say the exact mm -hmm. same. I would say an eight for that. Now, this has the the sheep or the goat for your sheep. I don't lie, bitch. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. You're a sheep, my guy. Sorry. What Sorry. makes me a sheep? Your willingness to go by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys ever get your tacos stuck together? It's like a really hot day and taco just gets stuck to the foil. <clears throat> Happens all the time when I order Chipotle. All right.
Now in taco form, there's a lot more di not digestible, but it definitely changed the taste from the burrito in the um, the go half go veggie. You know what I think we need? Fortunately, <clears throat> this napkin is 100% recycled paper, so it makes me feel good about my day. You're wiping your mouth with a napkin mm -hmm. that was used as my snot rag at one point. So, hmm. how do we feel about this? I think it's an interesting one. I want to give it like a high score. I'm gonna fuck up some chips though. Hold up. I mean, let's rate the chips and salsa while we're here. I mean, why not, right? Mm hmm. hmm. I'll give chips and salsa a seven. I mean, it's chips and salsa, but it's not better than the food. That's like the main meal, but it's still heat. Yeah, it's to be hotter. In my opinion. I thought Chipotle always had like a super hot salsa that they sold, but I guess not. Maybe it's Moe's. They're both very similar. Mm. Um... I always love getting that. A nine? You go nine on the taco? Yeah. I'll go. Seven. I'm kind of conflicted. I like the taco and I like the meat, but I still don't know how I feel about the meat at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, we do. But I like it. And I'm um, like, uh, good. So, what you rate the chips and the salsa? Mm. I know I wanted this kind of salsa. Cause I thought it was the sauce uh, and the tomato, or like more liquid sauce with the tomatoes instead of like a no, water. I told you that. But just because of that, it's hard to like scoop out and have like a lot on the chip. Um, like it is with the liquid sauce, so I'm giving it a five. Okay. So far, this is winning with 19. What'd you give this? I gave that an eight. We both gave it an eight, so it's got 16. You went nine and I went seven, so that's less than those. <laughs> sixteen. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so these are both sixteen. That's eighteen. So can the case the chicken quesadilla. That looks flames. <clears throat> we have any it's a bento box, right? Look at that. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna like Mm-hmm. Yep. Kind of like berries. I enjoy that. Tomatoes in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, quesadilla used to be my nickname. Did it? Yeah. Back in elementary school. We used to sell them every, like, Thursday. I never get them because quesadillas always used to fuck my stomach up. I remember in high school you were called, um, <clears throat> no bitch <clears throat> We had, the, we had the Make Casey Great Again campaign. That was the main thing back in high school. I find that hard to believe. No bitch idea doesn't roll off the tongue as good as Casey Dia. But.
Not trying to gaslight you. That'd be being a toxic friend. Keep the comments coming, guys. <laughs> please, please. It gives us something to talk about. Because normally, since I'm such a toxic friend, like we don't have anything to talk about. Because it's just me being toxic. No, we're just usually like whenever we're in the middle of recording, we just, just sit in silence. Yep. But you should team. We should have. I was gonna say before. Um, <laughs> we should have like a bloopers of the menu's best and be like recording the moment where we choose what we want to eat because I think that's like a whole thing in itself. But th- today it would have just been you know us sitting in silence because and you picking a random restaurant. Because, you know, toxic friend. Well, that's usually what it is, but, you know. Me picking? No, no, no. You being a toxic friend. Oh. I was sitting in silence. Oh. Nah, many of the best picking is an uh, interesting time. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely like that. All of my suggestions get absolutely wrecked. It's just wings. Nah, bro, it's trash. Friendlies. Bro, what kind of trash are you talking? I'm just a toxic friend, what can I say? <laughs> Terrible person. Good friends encourage other's choices. Yeah, and that's why we have more than two genders now. <laughs> we went there in this episode, okay. I'm giving this a 10 though. I'll give it a nine. I enjoy it, but not as much as the Red Bull. I mean, the, um, Red Bull. This thing. So, in the end of the day, it becomes one of those episodes where you have to decide which one is better to be given each of them a 19. I think this is going to be hard. <clears throat> Because each of us think that the other is the better one. No, give me that with sour cream. We got we got some sour cream in here. Mm-hmm. That's what be my determining factor which one I go with. Because that with sour cream, I think it'll be heat. Because sour cream to me, very important. And I know obviously you like it, you just can't eat a lot of it. Yeah. Let me get that. Mm-hmm. All right, this is a moment right here. This determines is this menu's best or is it short? Or do we have a argument for an hour about which item is better? I hope not, because that'd just be toxic friendship at that point. Oh my god. Oh, give me a spoon. Fuck this pork. Alright. <clears throat> uh, Decision been made. Are you ready for an hour long argument? No. The, this is good. I like it with the sour cream. It's better? It's a 10? <clears throat> I will say this is menu's best. What are you saying? It's a 10 or I'm it's saying, better than. Because this would be a 20 if. Here is the thing. Score. I'm not going to change the score. I'm going to agree this is the best item. Okay. Like we've done in other episodes, we don't change the score, so we agree this is the best item. So menu's best at Chipotle is 
the burrito bowl. Make sure you get the sour cream and the guacamole. Do not miss out on those two items. Anything you want to conclude here? No. Um, besides these last three plates of food, um, that's all I want to conclude at this point in time. But all right, I guess thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see you guys. More menus, best. We've got a few coming up in the summer. Um, part of our special summer series. We haven't fully <clears throat> smoke of these billies of barbecue. <laughs> Who knows? We haven't announced the uh, title of it or schedule. All I will tell you is that in August and in September, each month we'll have one episode of Menu's Best. So make sure you guys check it out then.